Hi, this is Ernesto, and uh, I will be um, showing you all some of my review questions for the TSI. So um, let's just uh, get started so you can have an idea of what, what uh, problems are you um, going to face when taking this uh, TSI exam. So we're going to start with number one, and this one says, if 3t um, minus 7 equals to 5t, then 6t equals 2, and that's it. So what this means is that um, we need to solve for t in order, in order to get the value of t, so we can then evaluate or substitute this value um, and then get our answer. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to get the, the equation over here, 3t minus 7 equals to 5t. We're going to isolate t on one side. So we're going to move um, letters to one side and numbers to the other, right? So in this case, since 7 is already here, um, I'm just going to move the 3 over into the other side. and. Um, well, to do that, I need to do inverse operation, but first I need to analyze what's happening here since uh, there's no multiplication division. Um, so I'm just going to subtract this value of 3t from here. And what I do on one side, I must do to the other. So it'll become, uh, well, here, this will become zero because uh, a 3t uh, and a negative 3t combined equals to zero. So I will be left up with negative seven will equal to what's five t combined with a uh, negative three t. That is um, two positive two t. After this, I'm going to use inverse operation again in order to get uh, the t by itself here, um, since it's with the two. So right here, since they're multiplying because they're together, I'm just going to divide by the same number, by 2. And what I do on one side, I must do to the other. So here, 2 divided by 2 reduces to 1, which is a t, equals to negative 7 over 2. This is not our answer yet. This is just the value of t which means that we still need to input um, the value of t here. So that means that we're going to do this. We're going to uh, multiply 6 times negative 7 over 2. So, but in order to do that, we're going to make both of these things fractions. So it's going to be a 6 over 1 times negative 7 over 2. And since we're multiplying, we just multiply across. So it's going to be 6 times negative 7. So a positive and a negative, that will give me automatically a negative. 6 times 7 is 42. And 1 times 2 is 2. I just multiplied across, just this one with this one and this one with this one, and that's what I got. But um, I can see here that I can still um, simplify a little more. So if I just divide the 42 by the two, that gives me um, negative 21. So basically, 6t or six times the value of t gives us a uh, negative 21. And this is our answer. Now let's just continue with number two. So this one's uh, a lot um, easier because we're just gonna be following one formula. So here it says, find the equation passing through six comma z um, nine and uh, zero comma zero, which are two points on the graph. So for this thing, there they're looking for the equation, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, find the slope of this line 
because it's an equation that passes through two points, which is most likely a line. Um, so we're going to use um, this formula, and I know you've seen it before somewhere. So this one's going to be x2 minus x1. And here we have our values. We just need to choose. Uh, here we have x, here we have y, here we have x, and here we have y. I mean, y. Um, so here we need to choose uh, which ones are going to be our 1s and which ones are going to be our 2s. So for example, these are going to be my x1s and y1s. And, this, and these ones will be y2s and, uh, well, y2 and, x2 and x2s. So we're going to input everything into this formula here in order to know the slope. So basically, um, we're going to do this. We're going to put a line over here that represents this line, obviously. So a negative and a negative because that's part of the formula. So here, we're going to input uh, y2, which is 0. And we're going to input y1 over here, which is 9. Um, after this, the x's. So x will be, x2 will be 0 again. And x1 will be 6. So now you need to simplify, and this will equal to 0 minus 9 is negative 9, and 0 minus 6 is negative 6. So basically, um, since both of these are negative, um, the negatives cancel each other out, and uh, you can still, now you're going to have 9 over 6, but you can still simplify this a little more by 3. So um we can do this so three nine divided by three is um three and six divided by three is two so we have our slope here so basically the line that passes through these two points um is y equals three over two x and if you want to try it out, you can graph it on a calculator, on an app. And, uh, well, you'll see that these two points uh, cross. Oh, well, this line crosses these two points, which is the origin and 6, 6, 9. Comma. Um, what is the y-intercept? of uh, y equals 2, open parentheses, x plus 3, and uh, open, close parentheses, and uh, open parentheses, x minus 4, close parentheses, right? So uh, we're trying to find, in a linear equation, basically, we're looking for, if, if you remember the y equals mx plus b, we're looking for this number in order to see where the line is going to start or where in the y axis and the y axis is going to start that's basically what it's asking for um so let's do this so here first we're going to combine everything in order to see what's happening with the line right so um we're going to do y equals 2 x plus 3 x x minus 4 so first you can either distribute this and then multiply it by this or you can just do the foil method or i don't really like calling it foil but um in the first inner and all that you could just uh multiply these two um binomials so let's just do that so x times x that is x squared, and x times x times a negative four. That is negative four x, and then we're gonna go with the next number, so which is three times x will be three x, and three times a negative four. That's gonna be negative twelve, and this 
you can all multiply it by the two, you can, or you can just distribute the two, right? Or you can simplify here. So basically, we're going to have 2x squared minus x minus 12. From here, um, you're going to distribute the 2, which is going to be 2x squared, then minus 2x minus 24. So here, what we're going to do now, this is a y equals, so this is our equation, right? What we can do is get the, which we're going to do here, you're basically done. So this is your line, and if you compare it to M y equals mx plus b, this is your b, negative 24. So y intercept equals to negative 24. It's um, super easy. Basically, um, he, we have over here um, x minus 1 over x equals to 20. So uh, we're going to use inverse operation uh, in order to leave the x by itself, right? So here's what's going to happen. So we're, since we are dividing here, this is like because we are going to take care of the division first. There's no way we can't separate this unless we separate all of this first. So uh, since we're dividing, we're going to do the inverse operation, which means that we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply everything times x in order to cancel the division, right? And what we do on one side, we must do to the other. So we're going to multiply this side times by x also, right? So here, the multiplication and the division will cancel each other out. So that'll leave us with x minus 1 equals to 20x. And since I want letters on one side, here, most of the letters are already here. So I'm just going to move this one to the other side. So it's going to be minus x because um, we're inverse operation um, here I'm not dividing or multiplying so this is a positive number so I'm just gonna um, subtract it from here and what I do on one side I must do to the other so it's gonna be minus x this is zero we're gonna um, do this this will give, a, uh, will give us a 19x which will equal to negative one right so once that we have that negative um, 1 equals to 19x, we want dx by itself. So we're going to divide by 19 by this same number, right? Because here we're multiplying. Um, so inverse operation would be division. We're, and what we do on one side, we must do to the other. So this is, we're, we're going to, to divide by 19 also. So here this, this reduces to 1 because 19 divided by 19 is 1. That means that x is already by itself, and that negative 1 over 19 is the value of x in this example. So here, um, the question says, what are the solutions for x plus 9 squared minus 36? So this one is... Um, pretty self-explanatory, right? So we're just looking for the solutions, the x's, the x values, right? So uh, we're going to multiply here, or we're, we're gonna square this, or what we can just do is um, just extend it. Instead of, con it's all condensed, so we're just going to extend it. So it's gonna be x plus nine times x plus nine again, because this means that we have two of these, uh, same uh, expressions minus a 36 which equals to zero and now we can start multiplying so x times x x times x gives us x squared x times 9 gives us 9x 
then 9 times x is going to be 9x again, and 9 times 9 will give us 81 minus 36 equal to 0. So here we're just going to combine like terms. So here x squared is the only one. 9, 9x plus 9x uh, equals to 18x. And then 81 minus 36 uh, gives us um, 45. 45. And this will all equal to 0. After this, we need to factor out um, over here um, this um, equation. Well, this expression, because it's not completely. Um, this is an equation. This is just an expression without the equals, right? So we're go just going to um, factor it out in order to get uh, our, our solutions. So what are factors of 45? Um, that if you add them will give you 18. So two factors that if they're multiplied will give you 45 and if you add them will give you 15. I mean 18. <laughs> I already gave you the answer. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to create my two sets of uh, a parentheses. I'm just going to add an x here and an x here. So um, 15 times 3. If I multiply them, it'll give me 45. If I add them, it will give me 18. So it's going to be 15 and a 3. Here, this sign will tell me if uh, both of the signs are going to be the same or different. If it's a positive, they'll be the same. Um, and if, they're, if it's a minus, it'll tell me that they're going to be different, both of them. So, and this sign over here will tell me the sign of the bigger number, which is in this case 15. So since they're the same and the bigger sign is 15, both of them are 15. I mean, positive. They're both are positive. So we're going to equal this to zero and we're going to set each of these to zero in order to get the values of x's. So here, this will be x plus 15 equal to zero and x plus 3 equal to 0. Here we could just uh, uh, subtract the 15. And then what I do on one side, I must do to the other. So it'll be x equals to negative 15. This is one of our answers. And uh, here we're going to do minus 3 minus 3, x equals, here this is also, it's going to be negative 3. So, and these two are our values of, a, of x, right? And it, uh, to check them out, we can also input uh, these two values of x's into the original um equation which is this one x plus 9 uh, squared minus 36 and that should um, give us um, well the equation should be true let's just try with negative 9 just to I mean negative 3 just to see since it's faster right so I'm just going to do negative 3 plus 9 Squared. So it means that there's two of these, so it's going to be negative, negative, no, it's going to be a 9, a positive 9, because 9 times, negative 3 times a negative 3 is 9, and then it's going to be, well, let me write it just so you can see it, negative 3, plus 9. So that'll be negative three six positive, so and negative three times nine is negative twenty-seven. Here is again negative twenty-seven. And nine times nine is eighty-one. So 
9, 3, 3, 3 is uh, negative 3 times a negative 3 is positive 9. Uh, 9 and then 3 times a positive 9, that's a negative 27. Again, positive 9 times a negative 3, that's a negative 7. And 9 times 9 is 81. So that tells us that, oh, let's just, we have to combine like terms. And negative 27, negative 27 uh, is uh, 54. So negative 54 plus 81 and a 9. So you combine all that. And that's 45, negative 45 plus 81. And that should give us, uh, well, and that should give us a uh, 36, a positive 36. So minus the 36 of the original formula that we didn't add here. So minus 36, that should equal to zero. That's how you prove that that um, value is correct. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I hope this is helpful for you uh, in the TSI, and if you have more questions, um, go ahead and uh, comment them, and I will um, make sure that they all, they get answered, or just request whatever you want to see, any problems, um, significant figures, um, anything. Um, I'm here to help. Leave a like, subscribe if you want uh, for more content, and... Uh, Hope you have a nice day.